I'm finally doing it. I'm finally doing my closet clean out, if you can't tell by the title of this vlogmas. Um, it's definitely been a long time coming, especially after I talked about it in vlogmas. I don't remember much vlogmas it is, but recently. And um, yeah, like I feel like it's something that I've been wanting to do, but felt really overwhelmed, which again, you can hear in my last vlog that I talked about this all. So we're just gonna try to jump into it and do a little closet clean out. I'm literally gonna try to do this as fast as I can because I feel like today's probably the only day I could really focus time doing that. And also if I have like some like fabric scraps and there's any local San Diego DIYers who would want to use that scrap. Sorry, burp. Um, you're more than free to be able to snatch that up. Um, just let me know. Okay, so before I get started, I have a couple of closet clean out questions that I create for myself, which one, I need to figure out, does it really fit me? Two, can I wear it in multiple ways? Three, is it practical? Four, will I actually wear this for years to come? Like beyond, uh, beyond it being trendy in the moment. Five, is there duplicates of this? And six, does it actually spark joy? <laughs> I feel like I was gonna cry at the end of that, but maybe I am gonna cry at the end of this, who knows? Uh, but yeah, let's do it. So what I've done here is that I separated my closet into things I'm officially like definitely keeping and then these are I'm kind of like feeling iffy about uh haven't even touched that and then I have this like giant bin that I just kind of had in my other room that I haven't seen the pieces in for a while and I organized them well well more like a organized chaos of just the like that's like workout gear such pajama type stuff I don't really know what happened here. Uh, sweaters and actually it's not very organized. Those are tops, I can say that. And then those are a couple of pants that I know for a fact that I'm keeping, of course. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the tops that I'm not really feeling, um, or like not feeling, I feel iffy about and I need to see um, what I think about them. I'm also gonna try to make uh, make sure I'm not wearing like any jewelry, keep it kind of neutral, just so I can really focus on how the piece really feels and adheres to like my questions that I came up with. I don't really like the way that this feels. I I think it's a really cute piece, but the way that it ribs or like the way that it's like ribbed and like does this thing, I feel like I just don't like the way it accentuates my body, and I feel like I don't really grab for it. So tell me no go. I feel like another. Thing for me maybe it's not really a question but I guess because I'm flying through this and trying to be really picky I also should think more so like if it takes me more than 10 seconds to decide if I like it or not probably is a no oh I'm gonna continue this that's gonna sell pile oh I like this one I know this is a key for sure Oh, this is such a cute one. It's such, it's honestly really cute. It, uh, I lo really love this brand and I like the fact that um, little doodles on this are made by kids. Talking about changing the world, which is great. Which is why I accepted in the first place, but I literally never reach for it. <laughs> oh. I need to take a break. I need to get some allergy pills. I don't know if that happens to anybody else, but I know for me, <laughs> I'm so sensitive to dust and whatever I'm touching clothes I haven't been touched in a while. Bleh. It's cute, but I never grab for it. And I think a part of that is that I've had a hard time trying to figure out how to style it. I just don't think I wear pale yellow really. It's not really my favorite color, but the cut of this is amazing. And it has the cute like little sailboats on them. Okay, now I just 
said that thing about pale yellow, but I feel like this is an exception. <laughs> This is one of those items that uh, doesn't really feel like it's necessarily like in right now as opposed to trendiness, which is honestly kind of why I put it in there, but I think this is such a staple. Actually, funny story about this jacket is that um, this used to be Gabby's uh, when we were in college, when we were juniors in college, and I used to borrow this from her like all the time. and. When we moved, uh, I was like, oh, can I borrow this? Like, would you be interested in giving it to me? And she's like, oh, I don't know. You can use it as long um, as you want until like I want it back. And she never asked for it back, so it's still here with me. I'll make sure to ask Gabby one more time, but it's been about like, it's probably been like five years. <laughs> uh, no. But it's so cute. I also kind of wish it was like a different color. <sighs> God. Yeah, but I'm feeling conflicted. And again, I don't reach for it, so it's time to put it away. Okay, this is really cute. I probably need it as a layering piece. I just hate how itchy it is. <sighs> In the summertime, so I'm gonna keep that. I think this will be one of those pieces I'll try to sell, and if it doesn't sell, I'll keep it, and if not, it'll go to, I just wanted to go to a really loving home because it means a lot to me. Yeah, we're done. It's not, it's not me. Oh, it's so sad, I wish it was. Oh, it actually fits! What was I scared about? Oh, let me, let me burn it up. I wonder if I changed my tone. Oh, what the heck, Jasmine? I've been missing out. Oh, it actually feels pretty loose. Oh, this is this is one of the pros of actually trying on everything before you do your closet clean out because you'll be surprised what actually fits and what doesn't. Oh, and this is perfect. I feel like especially with my new Doc Martens I got, I'm gonna be, this is very New Yorker summer. It, I guess I just haven't reached out for them since summer months, but I think I'm gonna definitely do a NY. But this one is so, I love the color so much and I love that it has like this little fun like trim on the bottom, but it's see-through and also the cut is so low and I feel like I've been trying so to figure out so many different ways to wear it and I never find something to wear it with. So this is the jacket I mentioned in another video about me fitting perfectly at the time, but I feel like for layering, it's not that great because it's kind of tight at the top and I feel like I could, doesn't really work, you know? But my big video. Is there a way to tailor this actually? If something's too tight, is there a way? Oh, actually, you know what I've seen? I wonder if I could do this. Actually, you know, I should try to do this. I saw this one TikToker uh, get dresses too that were like super, super cute, but they didn't fit her super properly. And what she did is that she made it into like a cos like uh, um, a corset backing, and it looks so beautiful. And honestly, it looks even better than when she first got it. So maybe I could do like some kind of fun like corset thing, or have someone help me. I honestly just feel like I love it so much that it would be really sad to get rid of. It feels, it just feels like so much like me in a dress. I mean, I think you said a really solid, really beautiful like dress when I was at Valley Thrift like ages ago. And do I have any special events I'm being invited to anytime soon? No. But it's a I don't know. I feel like there's other things out there for me that I could do instead. It was an impulse purchase if it's not already clear. So, going into the selling pile, I got it secondhand, but I never wear it. This print is so freaking cute, but I feel like with the whole, I feel like this past year or so since I got it, it's become like a really trendy print and more so in the sense that um, 
other people perceive it to be that way so I feel like a part of me hasn't done that but it's so freaking cute and I actually really love the cut of this I feel like I do like the idea of pouch sleeves but sometimes they just feel like a little too much compared to my curlier but this is so cute and I feel like with a pair of jeans this would be like yeah this would be so fun apologies for the drastic change in lighting uh <laughs> my camera just died so of course I was like probably should finally eat a little bit of a lunch took some photos and now we're back now let's get started on all those sweaters I don't like the way I don't know I don't think it's my vibe I mean oh, this is such a cozy sweater my only thing is that I feel like the color it's a little funky for me. I'm keeping it. I'm gonna keep it. Obviously, another keep. So this is one of those uh, cardigans that I got off of Depop and found out it was um, basically fast fashion. I was like actually really sad about it because I love this cardigan so much and I didn't realize that it was like one of those like Depop sellers that uh, tricks you into buying new fast fashion. And whenever I posted about it, people would ask me about it and then everyone would answer AliExpress. So I haven't worn it since, but it sucks because it's so, it's so cute. Ugh, but I really love it actually. I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you think, because I think the only reason why I'm debating about not having it is because I'm afraid of like other people asking me where it's from and then I'm like, don't really know how to give you an answer, babes. But I would probably wear this a lot more. A little small too on me. Like I feel like this part fits fine, but then this part just like feels tight and then my arms are really tight. This makes me look like I have a ball of clava on. Oh, actually, look, look, look. Can I pull off this the ball of clava? Although I'll start playing dress up instead of actually getting rid of my stuff. Me saying that I'm not gonna use any accessories to justify something, but also me having fun. Okay, actually, this is a vibe. <laughs> actually, I haven't broken it out this uh, fall, winter. This is definitely coming with me. Okay, this cardigan is, actually, is very cozy. Maybe I would wear it around the house more, but honestly, I don't know if it's really my vibe. Mom divorcee staring out like you know, you know, you know the classic trope about what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's how I feel. Like very Woo! You definitely got some more stuff to go through. Round two, I would say. I'm scared it's gonna start peeling. I thrifted this thinking it was really cool, but then like, do you see those bubbles? I feel like one wrong move. This is one of my first like funky, funky purses I thrifted. In drawer number one. I'm pretty sure I screamed when I saw it, but honestly, I, I don't think I've actually worn it. It's Oh, but it's like so uncomfortable. Like the fact that like I barely like, like, oh, I can really like breathe in it now. It honestly kind of makes me want to cry, and not because I'm sad about like gaining gaining weight, which I think is fine. Like we're in a pandemic, I'm getting older. Also, who cares? But I think what makes me sad is like losing sentimental pieces because of it. Um, I don't know, and maybe not even sentimental, just, or, 
I guess it becomes sentimental to me because I'm trying to practice, obviously, like really loving each piece that I have. And for the ones that I've had for years that are just so sinking good, knowing that the only reason I'm getting rid of it is because of fit, I think it really stings. But. not working now this is what it's like to wear something that actually fits you this is it's even interesting even as I was intentionally trying on pieces that I knew probably didn't fit me I just started feeling really terrible about myself and now I have something that like one looks great and two actually fits me properly and I instantly feel way more confident because as my classic line is clothes are meant to fit us we're not meant to fit clothes. So, standing by that statement. And lastly, I have this <laughs> satchel of clothes that I'm actually not gonna go through because these are supposed to be pieces I wanted to sell for like the past year and a part of me wants to go through it but I'm gonna remain to my decision and just, you know, sell them like I wanted to. And that is all I have for y'all, which was, this was just a lot, like, like I, this is basically my pile of clothing I plan on keeping, which is still kind of a lot, honestly, and I might have to like still narrow it down from here, but I pooped. It's the end of the day. I think I did a pretty good job. <sighs> okay, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.